2013. I know I love you, and every day I wait to see if this will be the time you hurt me again. Treat me with respect for once. We awoke, dancing naked in a puddle we called a lake. You wrote a song to see right through my sugar skull, but I couldn't find your dark brown eyes hidden behind a disguise. And in my darkest room from your head you bled, then reappeared a fractal in a frosted hot tub. Climbing cranes to rooftops, we peaked on a mountain. The climb was over, but the sky was endless. Where will our beautiful and adventurous path take us? Like a baby strung from a cross, satanic and subdued glory, we peaked on a mountain. The climb was over, but the sky was endless. Like the beauty we make, your love is a puddle that feels like a lake. That was December. Can I go ahead and pass that around? 2013. I feel like we are in a reverse of roles. Kill me. I love you so much, but I'm so confused. I don't want it to be this way. Crying, crying, crying. I can't stop crying. I fuck it all up every time. Nobody knows what it's like, but they'll judge you anyway. Triggers, triggers, triggers. Fighting, yelling, shaking, breaking, breaking. It's all breaking up and falling apart. Crying, crying, crying. I want it all to end. It wouldn't matter if I were gone because I don't matter. Nothing matters. Your warm embrace is my escape. Where the pain I've endured melts away, time becomes irrelevant, and the up and down murmur of your chest is the only soothing rhythm that matters. Shattered. Shattered, shattered like glass shards embedded in the tough skin of my hands and feet. My body's so tough, my heart super sensitive. I'm fucking useless. I'm fragile like a piece of glass. I'm fragile like a piece of glass. I'm cracked. I want you to know how much I need your support and patience and love and love and love and love. Love me, love me, hold me. Love all of me. I don't want to feel like a dead, ugly, loser slut anymore. I want to sleep again. I want to be happy again. Now I'm crying again. I'm in class. Why am I crying? Why does everything inside me feel like it's shrinking and tightening and wincing in pain? Triggers. Everything is a trigger. Wearing certain clothes, certain foods, drinks, anything could trigger. And I can forget myself and let the pain take over. Oh God, this is hard. When you yelled at me and told me to get the fuck out of your house, I no longer knew who you were. You became the culmination of the pain in my past, and I became the helpless victim who made a stupid mistake and woke up the next day, my body covered in bruises, my head swollen and fuzzy, my underwear ripped to shreds, my leather shoes ruined from chlorine, and oh, the pain I felt when I tried to take a shit. The sinking discovery that came to me through painful observations and flashbacks that I was raped and the ensuing hate. Hate for him, for life, hate most of all towards myself. Because I was triggered because this pain and memories are unbearable and all I want is to be happy and warm in your arms and in your heart where past, present, and future dissolve and we are one, not broken or shattered or dissolved, but whole and healed safe. Around that time, this was about spring of 2014, I was on a few different kinds of medications. I was taking Xanax. I was taking Fibrid. I was taking Trazodone. I was taking Vyvanse, I was taking birth control, thank God, I was taking Clonidin, and there were a few others I was taking as well around this time.
I want to pretend that you never existed. There is something seriously wrong with you. How did I fall in love with someone so pathetic? 2013 was a fateful year, the year I graduated from high school, the year I moved to Richmond, Virginia to pursue an art degree, and the year I met you. Our relationship marked many firsts for me. We got our first tattoos together. We started a band. We even played the national. We went to many music festivals, traveled, played, and loved. We sang, we danced, we tripped, we fell. One of us fell harder. The relationship was never easy, but always rewarding. In the summer of 2014, I was raped, and things got a whole lot harder. Something changed inside me, something bigger than either of us could understand, and something changed inside me too. I was falling apart. You weren't helping. You became more and more selfish, more and more cold, but you kept making me promises, promises you never intended to keep. You lied, you betrayed me, you took advantage of my PTSD, you took advantage of my mental illness, you exploited my insecurities, you shamed my body, you hit me, you shoved me, you screamed at me. I still loved you. I had lost so much already, I didn't want to lose you too. I hid it from my friends, my family, even my therapist. I stopped going to school, I was so depressed. I thought it was because I was raped. You told me I was crazy. You told me it was because of my rape, but it was you. It was your manipulation. I'm still afraid of you, you're still inside me in that controlling and possessive way. Your voice slithers into my thoughts. You made me feel so worthless. We haven't spoken in weeks, but you still do. But you're the one who is pathetic, and I deserve so much better, and I will never go back to you. I have so much love bursting from within me. I have so much to give. You had your chance. You had 1,000 chances, and you threw them all away. In seven Craigslist casual encounters posts, a punch, and an assault charge. I still held on vulnerable, but it makes me sick. You disgust me, you are vile. Stay the hell away from me and stay the hell away from my friends, David Eaton. David fucking Eaton, get out of my head. This is the last thing I'm gonna read. I didn't get to choose. He chose to have sex with a woman, and he got her pregnant and abandoned the child and moved away, left him to be adopted and abandoned and to suffer the same trauma that I started therapy for. He chose to be with me, and he chose to lie. He chose to assault me, and everything gets dropped. I didn't get to choose. I didn't choose to be adopted and stripped of my family, my culture, and my identity. I didn't choose to be raped. I couldn't even say no. No punishment, no accountability. Now I have to live with the trauma of his choices and what does he have the best week of his life? No remorse, no remorse. He got to choose. Why do shitty people like that get to choose? He laughed after he hit me. I didn't have a choice. White, male, privilege, everything that I am and have been is a victim to your choices.